baby, can't be kind to me. Got too much drip, yeah, I know she can't hold it. Yeah, I'm your bitch, even though she got COVID. What, what all these words? What all these preposterous this words? Welcome to Show Face News. You can call me what you want, just don't call me woke. Make sure you subscribe right now, make sure notification bell. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video. Please leave a comment below. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Clot the Beast. So let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, YouTube is the best app in the world. Shout out to YouTube. YouTube is great. Subscribe to Show Face News. Now, let's talk about it. Because there's something crazy going on. We got breaking news. Crazy news right now. Maurice Hill, the owner of Makita's, part owner of Makita's, his nephew, Jason Hill, was actually the shooter of Young Dolph, but he was the one that was murdered on Bradley Street in Memphis. This is not alleged, this is actual fact. So it only makes sense why when it comes to Makita's, they always talking about the cookies and they so happy. You understand when they mentioned Dolph loving their cookies and etc. And then naming the cookies after young Dolph and etc. Why is that? Jason Hill is the nephew of Maurice Hill, who was the owner of Makita's. What are the odds? What they going to say? Oh, he was up to no good. <laughs> Listen, everything ties back to this goddamn bakery. I'm going to keep it a stack. Everything is tied back to the bakery, man. Let's keep it a stack. Everything is tied to this bakery. People are laughing and smiling and keep promoting these cookies. They're not really talking about Dolph. They're talking about these cookies. They're talking about the business. They're trying to finesse. they finessing money. You understand? I just did a live right before this video. Speaking on how they finessing money for this bakery. You understand? $150,000 GoFundMe. A $150,000 GoFundMe when they have insurance to fix the damages. It don't add up. CEO Bobby already confessed that the bakery has something to do with it. And if you've been tuned in, you've seen last night that CEO Bobby had dropped, you know, some Instagram stories admitting to the crime. Admitting that he was one half of the shooters of Young Dolph. All right, alongside Jason Hill, which is Maurice Hill's son, uh, nephew. Maurice Hill's nephew, Jason Hill, and CEO Bobby, all the shooters that you see in that video. CEO Bobby confessed last night, said he was influenced by the wrong crowd and all that, and that the bakery has a lot to do with it, which is why I'm a firm believer that Raven was the one who was the conspirator behind it, I believe. The whole store was conspiring behind it. But Raven was the one who got the drop. You dig? I'm just saying. You understand? This This, this is going to be allegedly, you know, people dropping, man. I'm just saying. They're not playing in Memphis, man. They are not playing about Dolphin Memphis. Let's keep it a stack. It seems like, you know, the case is solved all the way and they know who did it. And we know who did it because the pieces is coming together. But they not playing in Memphis about Dolph. You understand? They're not playing. 19 bodies since Dolph's passing. You understand? It's getting crazy, man. Memphis is on fire right now. You know? It's, it's getting real. It's going to get real ugly, you know, for whoever is involved. Because they, they know who's involved now. And, you know... Things is about to take a whole turn for the worse for these fakers. Allegedly, you know. It's not looking good for the good people at Makita's. <laughs> you feel me? The Makita finesses, as I call them. It's it's the it's the audacity, man. The audacity of these people, man. It's it's insanity. Dolph invested good money into that business, and all they have to show for it is setting him up. This just shows you that when you reach a certain status, that yeah, you may get love in the hood, but everybody in the hood don't love you. People in the hood want to take your spot. People in the hood still got a poverty survival mindset. They want to take you out. You understand? Everybody want to eat. 
And a lot of people think you ain't gave them enough. A lot of people ain't satisfied with what you gave them. You understand? They want what you got. They don't feel you deserve what you got. They feel like, oh, if he got it, that means I'm supposed to have it because he's from where I'm from. And we both <laughs> ain't ish. You dig? Can't curse on here. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> It's, it's, it's getting real nasty in these streets. I mean, let this be a lesson to anybody on the come up. Let this be a lesson to anybody who's trying to get out the hood. Don't go back. It was a clear setup, man. It was a clear setup. I said it was a setup. Like, they, they knew when he was coming and all that. They let him know, man. Again, I'm, I'm still bringing it back to the Raven Girl because... She has a record label. She has an artist. Do you understand? This is confirmed by people in Memphis. She's also a stripper. All right? She has the ends to, you know, have a label. So she's hustling. And she's trying to get her label off the ground. You understand? So she ain't got to work no more. She's trying to push her artists and eat. She figured the only way to do that is we take out the king of Memphis. You dig? These type of tactics have been done before. You understand? But at the same time, like, come on, man. Now, look, maybe maybe what I'm saying is too far-fetched. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. But come on, man. Two and two. two you got to put two and two together. You got to put two and two together. How was, how was it not true? <laughs> you understand? There's going to be some type of hell to pay behind this. That's all I'm saying because Memphis is not playing. And this is a very huge tragedy, man. One of the worst things that happened to that city, man. And that's all I'm saying. But, hey, man, salute to everyone, you know, who put in work to investigate and find out what went down. You dig? Because, hey, justice will be served in these streets. They won't hope and wish that the police was getting to them because it's not looking like the police is actually going to get to them. Allegedly. You feel me? So, look, man. It's, it's, it's real tragic what's happening, but that's just a lesson, to, a lesson learned that you just can't go back to the hood once you reach a certain status because there's always cutthroat individuals that want what you got. I'm just telling you what it is, man. This is real. But please, please let me know how y'all feel in the comment section, though. Do you feel that this case is solved? Or is there more pieces that may be missing? Or do you think that it's, it's about all said and done and these people is going to get what's coming to them? You let me know how you feel in the comment section, though. But this is show face news make sure you subscribe right now make sure you like the video make sure you share the video please leave a comment below and also make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at cloud the beast this is show face news and i'm out no answer twist to the ghost face too run through your door kick it and locate too i'll go live and what a topic's trending i'm gonna upload the clip quicker than show face news